Hello everyone, welcome back to Becky's Kitchen. For today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to prepare the Nigeria Smoky Party Jollof Fries using the oven baking method. This recipe is everything and is one of the best you'll find on YouTube. So if you want to learn how to prepare the Nigerian Jollof Fries the proper way, then stay tuned and enjoy watching this video. If you're new here, welcome and do me a favor by subscribing at the end of this video. So we're going to start off the cooking by seasoning our uh, chicken because you want your chicken very tasty. So I added um, the chicken seasoning, which is what I'm adding now, and also the thyme, a little bit of thyme and the curry powder. Then you add salt. All of these add it in moderate portions so that your chicken will be very tasty. Then I added onion and ginger to add flavor to the chicken. After doing this, I added a little bit of water because the chicken is still going to bring out its own water and this is what it looks like after cooking for 15 minutes so this is the chicken stock or broth however you want to call it this is what you're going to use in preparing your jollof rice now that you have your chicken stock you want to go ahead and prepare the pepper and tomatoes that will be used for the jollof rice so this is basically what i use for the jollof rice you can see the tomatoes red bell pepper habanero pepper and the onions so you want to wash all of this in water so for the red bell pepper i removed the seeds from inside of the pepper so you want to do that to clean your pepper and once it's clean you transfer into the pot then cook for approximately 15 minutes this will help you extract the water from the tomatoes so you have to worry about um, your puree being so watery after boiling you go ahead to blend all of the tomatoes and pepper together to get your tomato puree and now we have our tomato puree and we're ready to begin preparing the jollof rice as the video continues please note that I won't be using any specific measurement for the ingredients in this recipe all I just want to do is to show you the techniques I use in preparing my Nigerian jollof rice since I'm making use of the oven baking method, I would start off by um, cooking my rice, like half cooked my rice. So to do that, I start off by adding a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of the stock. Ensure that when you're preparing your rice, you don't overly season it. Remember, you're still going to fry the tomatoes puree with other seasoning and you don't want your rice or your jollof rice to be overly seasoned. So add a little bit of water in the pot you can see that the water is not even covering the rice that's because i want to get the rice to the level to the point of it being half cooked so you want to cover and allow to cook until the water gets dried while we're waiting for the rice to get cooked we'll go ahead to fry the pepper for the jello fries so this process is where you have to um, get it right if you don't get it right then you have overly seasoned or too oily jello fries so as you can see, I added oil to the pot and it to a temperature that is enough to start my frying. And then I added onions to add aroma to my cooking. After these, I added my tomato paste and the reason why I added this from the beginning is to get that um, sad and acidic taste of the tomato paste. So you want your jello fries to be tasty, kind of um, sour. So you want to fry this for approximately three to five minutes. And when you're done, you go ahead to add your blended um, tomatoes and pepper. So after adding your blended um, tomatoes and pepper, you stir together and um, you cover and allow to cook for five minutes. So it's now time to season our tomatoes. So I started by adding chili powder, I added the paprika, I added the chicken seasoning, I added the beef seasoning, then I added curry, I added garlic powder, and thyme. Then I stirred all of this together to allow the flavor evenly mix in the pepper. After mixing together, I then added um, salt 
Um, I added it in small portion because you don't want your pepper to be overly um, seasoned or salty. Remember your rice is seasoned with salt as well as your chicken stock. So at this point you want to stir together taste before adding your chicken stock because that will determine the quantity of chicken stock to add to your pepper. And you will notice I added um, bay leaves to it. I just made use of two because I believe less is more. So after five minutes, I stirred again and I tasted to see if the pepper is ready. And now the pepper is ready. I decided to add my half cooked rice, which is already seasoned. So then I mix everything together. So you want to evenly mix it together before transferring into your baking pan. After mixing together, I then poured into the pan. After this, I added my onions. You would want to add tomatoes if you're a fan of tomatoes. You also want to add butter if you're a fan of butter. Um, but at this point, my rice is already uh, having enough of everything, enough oil, so there's no need adding the the butter to it but butter is also a good one if you want to add to it because it makes it taste different as you can see my rice already looks like it's ready there's no need to add water all you just need to do is to seal it very tight and the steam from the um, heat in the oven is going to make it cook so then i baked at um, 350 fiery eyed for 45 minutes and this is what your patty jollof rice looks like. There's no difference in taste between this and the one cooked in one pot. you notice um, it actually got burnt um, and it's also dry the same way you cook your one pot jollof rice. As you can see, the rice is so perfect. I really love this um, alternative way of, of cooking the Nigerian jollof rice. This is like one of the best methods as compared to the one pot method. Um, this is everything. The only difference is that it doesn't get as burnt as uh, when you use the one pot in cooking the jollof fries. So guys, if you enjoyed watching this detailed video of how to prepare the Nigerian jollof fries using the oven baking method, kindly give this video a thumbs up, share to your family and friends and please do not forget to subscribe. So see you guys next time. Bye.